Don't you want something more with your life? Yes. Like how could like mowing the lawn bring yeah. you joy? And, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of times we find our value in doing. And so when we can remove that from our relationship, that's when we actually feel value. You don't love yourself all of a sudden and like it's smooth sailing. Yeah. It's waking up and making that decision mm. and saying like, I will be kind to myself. Like, so I can't be not enough mm. and I can't be too much. Mm. So where do you fall? In our life, in work, in marriage, everything. So Drew actually doesn't know a lot about what I do. And that's intentional mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, I don't want to talk about work. I want to talk about life. And so we wow. have this thing where we'll sit down and we'll say, how was your day? Mm -hmm. And you get five minutes. Mm -hmm. Talk about work, whatever. It's done. Now we're in life. And mm -hmm. um, we like when we go on dates, phones stay in the car. Like we our phones are charged on a different floor of our home at night. They do not come Great in the tip. bedroom. So for me, my struggle was I was like, don't you want something more with your life? Yes. Like how could like mowing the lawn bring yeah. you joy? Yeah. And then I was like, well, what's bringing me joy? How do we figure this out? And so a lot of times we'll, we'll make, we'll poke fun at it. So I'll be like, oh, I just mowed my lawn because I was recording or writing an email funnel ah. or things that fire me up. Okay. And we have to look at things in a way that like supports each other. But for me, he has been such a big support like where i'm like you are like behind all of this mm. um but him being a stay-at-home dad like he's had to humble himself mm -hmm. because people will be like oh and so what do you do mm -hmm. and it's like for yep. him i'm like he is the best dad in the world he like buys groceries and makes sure i eat lunch and yeah. things like that but for me it's like honoring that contentedness while also not letting it like stall me yeah and so it's like seeing that contentedness and trying to find that within myself mm. in that moment, mm. but also encouraging him to strive for more. Yeah. What does that look like? And it's like this ebb and flow and this give and take, and there's seasons of both for yep. us. But I think it's a lot of it is so much about boundaries. He doesn't need to care about what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. He needs to care about me. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times we find our value in doing and so when we can remove that from our relationship, that's when we actually feel valued. Breakthrough, huge moment, last 15 mm -hmm. seconds you just said. Big time, massive thing you just said. Massive, <laughs> one of the best things ever said here, ever, <laughs> ever, ever. And it was the end of the sentence at the end of the answer. And here's what it is. I love this, so good. <laughs> We get validation too often from what we're doing as the achiever. Mm -hmm. And it's magnificent that you can be with someone who loves you for your being. Mm -hmm. What a blessing and a gift. Like, wow, that's huge. Also, I must second the concept that sounds controversial that your spouse doesn't need to know everything going on and what you do business-wise yeah. all day long. Yeah. I completely agree with you. I don't need to make him care. He cares about me. Yes. You know? And that's when you let that go, when you don't come out with a laundry list of here's what I did today, okay. and you say, here's what fired me up today, yes. then you're inviting them to be excited with you. By the way, a long-term relationship, the person loves your being, not what you're doing. This is huge, huge. How, how empty would it be to be in a relationship for someone who only loved you for what you were doing? Now, in a perfect world, they love what you were doing and yeah. your being. But there are a lot be of people. It'd be exhausting, and a lot of people in relationships just based on what you can do, mm -hmm. just based on what you're doing, what you make, right, what you look like, mm -hmm. right, instead of your being. And so there's a blessing there as well. That's like such a great answer. So, mm -hmm. I one of my favorite answers ever on a very difficult, nuanced topic because I know for a fact it's still an issue for you. Yeah. It's an issue for me as well. And it's, it's uh, that word honoring is also mm. beautiful as well. A couple things about you that I'd like to ask you because I think women will, women will relate to it and men. What are you insecure about now? So you've talked about having yeah. previous insecurities. Oh, I know, right uh, you off know. the bat. Okay. It's that I'm too much. But you're too much. So isn't this interesting? You yeah. go from the not enough yeah. to the too much. I'm too powerful, I'm too unemotional, I'm too driven. Um, now that I am pulling my seat up to the table with men and saying, I'm here and I, I know things and I, I'm smart 
and I, I am brilliant and I, I feel confident in saying all these things. Now I'm worried that I'm too much, that women- Only a woman would think that. Only, huh? yes. So mm. women are taught that like being strategic is being conniving. And I'm amazing at strategy. Mm. Oof, I love strategy. And I have been told that, you know, I'm too unemotional about business. Business is business. I handle business unemotionally so that I can be emotional in my life. Wonderful. So when I make decisions about business, I am so unemotional because that's how I need to do it. Mm. But yeah, my greatest fear. I mean, someone just a week ago told me like, I'm too much of a powerhouse. I'm too, I'm too out there. I'm too bold and it's like so i can't be not enough and mm. i can't be too much mm. so where do you fall mm. it's interesting Isn't that weird no I'm, men would think that. men don't think that no? no it's why i'm so glad you're here Thank and you. why i'm i know more and more people have said please have more powerful female entrepreneurs i clearly always want to but i also am careful of who i allow i um, have my audience exposed to and let them influence them. That's why I researched you, I watched you for a long time. And then I found, and I think most of your followers are women, but I gotta tell you something, your content affects me. Mm, like you're you. one of the podcasts I listen to mm -hmm. and I don't listen to very many. You're one of the blogs I read and it's because mm -hmm. of all of the different types of content. So even today, we've gone from Instagram to blogging to podcasts to miscarriages yeah. <laughs> to body relationships, image. body image and insecurity, oh. right? So we've gone through a lot. And I just think you're magnificent. I really do. And I feel like there's so much with you that I want to give like an open answer. Yeah. And so if you had a message, this will be my last question. Yeah. But if you had a message that you could give to people, and I think what everybody wants, mm -hmm. they think they want a business and maybe they do. Yeah. They think they want to be thinner or more muscular and maybe they do. Mm -hmm. They want a relationship, maybe they do. Mm -hmm. But what I think everybody on earth wants is they want to be happier. Mm -hmm. People just want to be happier. And I think that more than ever, with all of the benefits of social media and access to information, access to people, we know more about medicine and diet mm -hmm. and nutrition and the brain and all these things. But I'm not so sure that there's not been a time ever in humanity, and this is why I think we're so needed, yeah. where people are less happy. Mm -hmm. People are just less happy. Like, if life is measured not on Ocean from, by the way, if you live oceanfront, it makes you happy, yeah. go get it, right? That's great. But if life's measured on the difference you make, how much closer you get to God, but the other measurement is happiness, mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people think they could do better in that area. Mm -hmm. So this is a hard question, but I'm just curious. Someone said, I just want to be happier. Mm -hmm. What would your answer be to them? Which is oh, where I'd start, this is what I think. Talk to yourself the way you talk to your loved ones. It's mm. that inner dialogue mm. that is controlling us. Mm. And so many people, if if the words that you were thinking about yourself today were to show up on these walls, would you be proud of them? Mm. And I just think that, especially for women, but for anyone, what is that inner dialogue telling you? Mm. When you look in the mirror, when you think about the way your brain works, when you, what is that self-talk? Mm. And I feel like it's so crazy to me now when I can look, okay, question. Have you ever done this? You look at a past picture of yourself and you remember the insecurity you're feeling when that picture is being yes. taken. It's All not just women. Yes. And I look back at these photos and I'm like, if only I knew how beautiful I was. <laughs> I'm beautiful right now. And it's not just about being beautiful. Like if only I recognized how happy I was, if only I saw that, if we could change the way that we talk to ourselves and instead of highlighting insecurities and all of that, wow. and we just sat in that moment and said like, mm. right now, mm. I'm healthy, mm. I am loved, I'm worthy, I'm enough. And it's not about mantras, it's like, like just encompassing that. Mm. But I have had to change that dialogue in my head every single day. You don't, you don't love yourself all of a sudden and like it's smooth sailing, yeah. it's waking up and making that decision mm. and saying like, I will be kind to myself. Mm. I will love myself the way I love my daughter. I will, you know, like, Wow, I will control good. that conversation today. Mm -hmm. um, and it just, man, like I believe anything is possible for me. I love and that. I also believe that like I am in control of my destiny and I believe that I am beautiful and I believe that I have a gift to offer the world and I believe it's a disservice for me to shy away from ooh, that. Ooh. And I believe all of that. Like I hope you can feel like yeah, I, I am here. I, I earned my seat at the table and I'm not going anywhere. Oh, wow. And so, if I can continue to just say that yes. and believe it and let other people see 
that when you do that, when I step into my power, I let other people do that. Mm. That's it. Jenna, that's magnificent. By the way, that's a, uh, uh, that's for men and women. Yes. But as you were saying it, do you agree that women are, women treat other people so well, they don't care yeah. for themselves the same it's a way. selflessness thing. Yeah, I do. I and it, and we've had to learn that. And I mean, everyone says this, but I literally paid attention when I was on the plane yesterday. They said, put on your oxygen mask before helping others. Mm. Women are the last people to do this. Mm. We run around and take care of everyone else. And we, we wear that with a badge of honor. Mm. Like our depletion yeah. means that we're doing it right. And it's mm. like, no, 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 we're doing it backwards. Wow. And so, yeah, I mean, being a mom and like, like literally keeping my child, sustaining my child's life right now, if I don't take care of myself, yeah. it all falls apart. And so, yeah, I listened to the flight attendant and just smiled when yeah. she said that yesterday because I'm like, you can see that on memes and quotes, but yeah. if you don't really truly understand that you cannot help others until you've helped yourself, you cannot pour from an empty cup, how are you filling your cup up today? Thank you for today. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. If you'd like more, click the videos right here. They're exactly what you need to see next. And if you're new here, hit subscribe and become a part of the Max Out community. And tell me what you think about the videos in the comments below. I read all of them every week, and I select winners that get all kinds of prizes, gear, coaching calls with me. Make a comment.